What we're gonna be talking about today is the principle and the concept of gating versus ungating. I always get asked the question, is it worth the time? Should I do it? How do I go about doing it? Amazon sellers and soon to be Amazon sellers. My name is Bob Schneck. I am so excited that you have clicked in and you're going to spend the next few minutes with me. What we're going to be talking about today is the principle and the concept of gating versus ungating. I always get asked the question, is it worth the time? Should I do it? How do I go about doing it? Well, let me start by kind of giving you a little bit of a background first. You understand where it is I'm coming from. Uh, I have been actively selling online for over 20 years. For the last five years, I have been selling specifically and exclusively on Amazon. Uh, and for the last couple of years, I've had the opportunity to teach people just like you how to build successful Amazon businesses. Now, I want to make sure you hear what I just said. I didn't say teach you how to sell on Amazon because the truth is anybody can show you how to sell on Amazon. So I'm going to show you how to sell on Amazon and then I'm going to teach you how to build an Amazon business because that's really where it's at. When you sell on Amazon, it's kind of like a hobby for most people. And I don't know about you, but most of my hobbies cost me money. They don't actually make me money. But building an Amazon business the right way from the beginning is a pathway to true financial freedom. And I am super excited to get the opportunity to share that with you. I have a series of videos, dozens and dozens of videos, and you can get access to them by simply subscribing down below to our YouTube channel. And if you hit the, uh, the little bell at the top, I think it's up here actually, uh, the, the post notification, you'll find out whenever I release a brand new video. But again, I'm super excited for you to be here. And what I wanna to discuss today is the gating or the approval. Now, we have a time-tested model for selling on Amazon, and included in that model is being able to sell name brand products. And there's a myth out there that, that unless you're a manufacturer or unless you're uh, direct contact with the manufacturer, that you can't sell their products. And that is completely and totally false. You just have to be taught how to do it from the right way, rather than wasting lots of time trying to figure it out on your own. Now, I always get asked, is it worth the, the hassle of getting ungated? And the answer is absolutely. You wanna know why? Because most people won't bother to do it. And since they won't bother to do it, what happens to your competition? That means your competition goes down. Less competition means more opportunity for us. So let's go ahead and kind of go through this. We do wanna sell name brand products. Now, the very first step, actually, let me go through some of the benefits. Number one, less competition. Uh, these are the products that are actually selling the most on Amazon. Now, I know you see all these videos and all these people talking about doing white label, private label, uh, about doing retail arbitrage and, and perhaps drop shipping. Well, if you look at Amazon statistics, what you're going to find out is that the top 10% of people that are selling on Amazon are selling, the majority of them are selling name brand products. Okay, so it's not the, 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 the no name stuff or the, the new brand stuff. The stuff that's selling effectively and successfully is name brand stuff. So when you follow this business model, you have much, much more opportunity. And the truth is it sets you up for long-term, long-term success. And what do I mean by that is as we begin to find and establish relationships with good authorized suppliers and we get approved through those authorized suppliers, then what happens is, is we become or we have the ability now to continue to sell these name brand products now and into the future. So we're creating a foundation for our business that's gonna set us up for long-term success. Uh, common things you need to know before selling brands online. Number one, a brand can shut you down at any time if you don't follow the proper system, okay? So we need to know the brands have all the power, but if you follow the system I'm gonna teach you, then you can get authorized and approved through the brand and Amazon, and then they're not gonna hassle you or bug you. Uh, we're going to sell products that are already selling well-named products. This is a concept that Walmart applies, that Kmart applies, that Shopco, that Target, that Costco, all the big major retailers that are out there, 
they apply those same strategies. And Amazon has their list of uh, authorized suppliers, which I'll get into a little bit later. So here's the very first step is we want to work in the, the retail chain and how it works. So let me kind of backtrack. A lot of people think that, well, how am I supposed to contact, say, Mattel, for example, or how do I contact Keurig? And the answer is most of the time you're not. Uh, very seldom do I ever actually buy directly from manufacturers. So what you have is you have the people that make the stuff. These are the brand owners. They're the makers, the manufacturers. And what they have is they have a distribution channels of suppliers, wholesalers, uh, distributors. They've got a lot of different terms. And what the manufacturer brand owner does is it sells to this network of distributors or wholesalers. And then they give those distributors and wholesalers permission to sell those products. So then what the distributors do, they find retailers, people like me or, or like you as you get going, and then those authorized suppliers can pass on to us the authorization to sell those very same products. So that's kind of, as long as we're working within the retail chain, then we're actually doing pretty good. So step number one is to identify authorized suppliers. So as I mentioned, I've got a whole bunch of videos and one of those videos is designed to teach you how to find, identify, and create relationship with authorized suppliers. So go there if you haven't learned that, and then, then we can come back and we can finish up this one here. So what we want to do is we want to buy directly from those authorized suppliers. And by doing so, they pass on their authority to sell to us. Now, that's the brand giving us authority. That doesn't necessarily seem that Amazon is giving us the authority. Because what will happen is the manufacturers will tell Amazon this, this particular item is restricted or branded and only authorized suppliers can sell it. So what will happen is sometimes we'll go ahead and we'll try to sell a Keurig item. And then what will take place is Amazon will contact us and say, hey, are you authorized to sell this? Okay, so then we have to go through the process. Now, if you've ever tried to add a product into your store or when you go to add a product, it's gonna come back and tell you if there's listing restrictions. Is this a brand regulated or is it restricted or whatever the situation is. So the basic process of getting approved just through Amazon, once you're already working with an authorized supplier, is as follows. What you need to do is you need to send to Amazon an actual finalized invoice. Okay, now a finalized invoice is very different than a pro forma invoice or an order form. So your pro forma invoice is just sort of like uh, an invoice that shows what you intend to buy. A sales order form, again, is sort of what you are intending to buy but a finalized invoice actually shows Amazon that you have purchased these restricted products from an authorized supplier, therefore passing on that authority to sell those products to you directly, okay? So what we have to do is we have to get these invoices and you wanna make sure that all of the invoices match up. Now, what do I mean by that? Is you want to make sure the names, the phone numbers, all the information matches. Okay, so on the invoice, it has to have your business name or whatever name you have actually registered with Amazon. They have to match up, they have to coordinate. If they're off in any way, that's a reason for Amazon to, or Amazon to reject it. All right. You also want to have on that actual order the very products along with the ASIN number or other identifying phone, uh, number that's on the product itself because Amazon's going to match up all that stuff. And then to save you one extra step is make sure that on the invoice is the actual supplier's name, address, and phone number. And if you have a contact person, because what I've seen quite often, especially with new sellers, is they'll go to sell a product, it's restricted, they, don't, they go to get approved to sell that item. They've already got the approval from the supplier who is authorized. Now they submit all that stuff to Amazon. Quite out, often, like nine times out of 10, Amazon will actually call that supplier. So you wanna make sure when you talk to your supplier that this is a new product for you, you have to get ungated or approved and expect a phone call from Amazon. So once you get all of that stuff together, then you wanna go ahead and submit it to Amazon. And then they'll take care of the rest of it for you. All right, if you wanna take it even a step further, you can actually have the supplier contact Amazon themselves. 
So there's a variety of different ways, but here's the reason I believe you can do it. Because name brand products quite often are restricted or they require approval. And going through the process that I just showed you, which is you contact your supplier, you create the order, you order the product, you get the finalized invoice, that's critical, with all the pertinent information on there, then you send it to Amazon for that approval. And if you follow those steps, I am confident 99 times out of 100, you're going to get approval in any category for any brand that you want to be selling. And by doing so, you open up new worlds to yourself. You create a foundation for long-term success in this business. So again, just a real quick video on what it takes to get ungated. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, that way you can get access to all the videos. And also, uh, if you want to know more about the actual business model that we've created and how finding authorized suppliers to provide you with name brand products, how do you go about creating the relationship, placing the order, all of the details. I'm actually hosting a free online webinar this week. All you have to do is click the button below to get yourself registered, and then you can listen to the actual process. Uh, now, the, the webinar itself is about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes long, so you wanna make sure you reserve that time for you. Space is very, very limited on them as well. So uh, you wanna click, you wanna reserve that spot, and then you wanna make sure you show up. And I'm telling you what, this is a business that can change your life, but you've got to do it right from the beginning. There's a lot of stuff out there that doesn't work. I'm going to show you a time-tested proven strategy to create financial freedom by building a Amazon business. So with that, I really look forward to seeing you. Uh, I look forward to meeting you as well. So thanks again for listening. Check out my other videos. My name's Bob Schneck and have a great day.